The discovery that the fossils from the Dinaledi chamber that we've attributed to Homo naledi in 2015 are actually relatively young, uh, between 230,000 and 330,000 years, is quite frankly astonishing. Uh, this means that Homo naledi, this primitive hominid that uh, appears to come from the sort of root of the genus Homo, uh, actually lived not only through the last several millions of years, but was contemporary with when we thought only Homo sapiens lived on the continent of Africa. This is undoubtedly going to have profound effect on our understanding of archaeology, and in fact is a little bit confusing, because now we have at least two potential makers of, of these very complex stone industries which are scattered about southern Africa and perhaps the rest of Africa, and is going to lead to perhaps a lot more questions than answers. Secondly, the discovery of a second chamber containing Homo naledi, that we've called the Lissetti chamber, adds weight, I think, to the idea that, that Homo naledi was deliberately disposing of its dead in these remote, deep, underground chambers of the rising star cave system. Uh, in addition to that, it's a spectacular find. Inside of this chamber, uh, are several uh, individuals, some children, uh, a couple of adults, one of which is now amongst the most complete skeletons ever discovered. A skeleton of what we think is an adult male Homo naledi. We've called him Neo. And uh, there's lots more to find. There are literally uh, thousands more remains in the Dinaledi chamber and probably a lot more remains in the Lissetti chamber. So we have a, a great future ahead of us for discovery in these caves here in southern Africa.